Hello, I'm the Rise of Luke Cartographer, and this is the 65th video of my Mass Effect Legendary Edition series. In the last video, we went to Palavin, and we got Garrus on board along with the uh, Turian Primarch. This, in this video, we're going to go back to the Citadel because we've gotten multiple emails about things that we need to do there, including Ashley uh, becoming a Spectre. Uh, we need to go meet with Thane, and there were a couple of things we'll figure out when we get there. <laughs> All right, let's leave Manet behind. And get back to the Serpent Nebula. So let's see. Yeah, you can see that we can meet with the diplomats in the Anos Basin. We also have the Petra Nebula where we need to go to Grissom Academy. But for now, we're going to go back to the Serpent Nebula. And, uh, oh yeah, meet with Arya. That's right. Alright, here we go. Transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Okay, I wanted to check and see if there's anything new here first. Nothing new there, so we're going to go ahead and head up to uh, Huerta Memorial. Welcome, Commander Shepard. And look at that, we've the destination. We got a whole bunch of places we can go, so we're going to go to Huerta Memorial first, though. One moment, please. Actually, I think Ashley said to first to no, meet her at the embassy, but we'll see. Let's listen in here again. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them. Big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. Yeah, I almost forgot. Back on Sanctum, we got that information about Hanar uh, metagel improvements. So. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, man. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke too. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. I was just thinking, kind of ridiculous to be here wasting their time with that. Welcome to Serta. We can upgrade our medigel capacity, I'll do that. Thank and you for shopping. Let's see, who could I talk to about the uh, Hanar stuff? I found this medigel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Alright. Hey, Thane! <coughs> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Whoa, did I just go through that wall? I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. 
I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side, and I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish we could ask him about how he's doing with Koliot. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Oh, there we go. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. All right. Uh, so I guess Ashley is here. Let's go check that out. It almost looked like Dr. Michelle and uh, Dr. Chakwas again, but no, it's just Dr. Michelle. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion. But multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. How's your center handling the extra load? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. All right, let's go check in with Ashley. Okay. Let's see, there was also that guy back there. Uh... I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Uh oh. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. Well, you're gonna be holding for a little while, because I'm not going there just yet. Uh, let's check on this guy who's losing his leg. You can replace my leg, right? Yes, but clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Okay. Anybody in any of these rooms that we missed last time? Well, that weren't here last time, I mean. Hey. Sorry about that. My dog either woke up from a bad dream or was bored. I'm not sure. Anyway, here we go. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. No more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina? <laughs> I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. 
Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. See, I don't want this to turn into something romantic, so... When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Oh. Okay, so it's a whole big thing here. Who's back on Earth? Mom plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. What is up with her teeth? Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. I feel like I've re I remember there being some symptom that causes uh, pink teeth, but I think that just may be a weird graphical thing. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. <laughs> have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. <laughs> we can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. <laughs> Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, <laughs> I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. <laughs> Roger that, LC. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. All right. Uh, let's see. Where to next? Uh, to the embassies, maybe? I think that that flag that we got, like the banner of the first uh, regiment, is something we can turn in somewhere around here. There's a Turian that wants it. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family.
Someone in your family is MIA? My son Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the uh, eye. Oh, yeah. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. Pretty sure he's If dead. I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Now, I'm sure he knows who Commander Shepard is, but it's strange that he didn't even comment on that. Anyway. Let's see. Anybody we can talk to back here? No. Good morning. Oh, oh she's back. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am? We've had this discussion, young lady. You have to call me Teresa. Maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch. What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that we missed a little bit of the conversation the first time around, and her son was married to an Asari, or engaged to one at least, and she thinks that that Asari is that uh, person. What's who? Oh, Jonathan Bao. That's right. We were going to talk to him as well. Uh, he's one of the members of the STG and the Spectres, but I'm trying to see if there's anybody else in here that we can hand that uh, banner of the First Legion to, or regiment, whatever it is. Anyway, here we go. Commander Shepard, John Dumbao, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. Oh. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? I think she's a here. master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. <laughs> I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember <laughs> when you helped me get KG's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. <laughs> information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? <laughs> I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's check out the terminals in here, regardless. Oh, and yeah, the, the Batarians definitely had Reaper tech. Uh, back in the first game, was it? We learned about the Leviathan of Dis, which was a downed Reaper that the uh, Batarians uh, basically stole and pretended never existed. Uh, anyway, let's see, Spectre Terminal. 
Uh, military pardons for Normandy engineers. Hey, there we go. Engineers Gabriella Daniels and Ken Donnelly are in custody at the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and uh, the Reapers and had no other connection to the terrorist organization. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them to uh, aboard the Normandy. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Hanar Embassy tra Tracking. Um, Spectre level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data, transit records, and personal communications for all employees in the Hanar Embassy. To avoid triggering surveillance countermeasures, embassy files must be accessed on site. Uh, nav points on of consoles or access points with relevant information will be tagged on uh, the Spectre's Omni tool. Enable that. Okay. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the <laughs> fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. I like Kasumi. I feel like her character was kind of underutilized in the last game because she was DLC. Which is why you never really had any real conversations with her. It was just uh, canned dialogue that would be activated whenever you clicked on her. But uh, anyway, let's see if we can't find this terminal. I thought they said it was going to be around here, but maybe not. Let's see. Nothing. Oh, embassy offices, so it is something around here. At least, was I reading, reading the map right there? Yeah, we're in four. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. Over here, maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Over there. There's even a Hanar over there. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone. And Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about <laughs> Alun. I'll pull his bio. Yes, I have spoken I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? Yes! You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. Not only that, you're alive. Come on. Uh, let's see. Is there something still here? No, I think we have to go elsewhere. Alright. Uh, let's go to the Presidium Commons. Well, we haven't talked to Avina here. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Presidium Commons. You are on the main promenade of the Shopping Galleria. Here you will find establishments offering specialized goods and services. For assistance or for information about our special promotion, talk to me or contact the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. What's this promotion you mentioned? Producer Jean-Marie Aronisius is donating a portion of all proceeds from her new Blasto movie to the Citadel's Military Defense Fund. Audio excerpts of Blasto 6, Partners in Crime, are now available for your listening pleasure right here on the Presidium. <laughs> Where can I check this out? To listen to excerpts, simply go to the Features Hallway and find the Blasto 6, Partners in Crime publicity panel. The place feels familiar. It sounds smells it's like being back on earth the current decoration budget was approved by ambassador asoba the human representative for earth on the citadel each species granted ambassadorial rights on the citadel can apply for a slot on the decoration schedule to change the promenade and parks below the only condition is that the proposed environmental features not be toxic to species living on the citadel huh. what else is in the area the Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Recently, new biometric systems have been added to assess the specific needs of your species. Biometric systems? Sounds more like a security measure. These simple and confidential systems are in place for the safety of all visitors to the Presidium. We respect your privacy, Commander Shepard. To opt out, please visit the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. <laughs> That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Alright, what do we... Okay, Citadel Rapid Transit. 
It looks like we got it. You want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can Okay, so it's just going in None circles now. How to fight. I mean, honestly, they really do need, like, everybody they can get. But... Yeah, honestly, I think we need everybody we can get. The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, uh, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? He thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. Hopefully we don't find that they've ended up dead. Overcharging for goods. Denying Kanala Exports. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Okay, so we got some mods. Blood Dragon Armor. Didn't I already have that in the last game? And this? Maybe not this. Koi fish, yes. I need that. Of course. Okay. The book of Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. World. And now, our people have lost their way. We need to find the Book of Plenix, it seems. Uh, who's this? Barlavon, hey! Excelling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan Cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. Okay. What? I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. If you're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Certainly. Look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. Well, he's a Shadow Broker representative. Uh, Elko's Combine, Arsenal Supplies. Elko's Combine, Arsenal Supplies. Oh! Ooh, Aquarium 6. I need that. That's, uh... Keeps the uh, aquarium he healthy. I think that was the most I've spent on anything so far. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's check out the other end of this place. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed. And if I pretend to be happy over the vids... It's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on... You deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Well, some guy's in for a bad day. Let's see. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling it at cost plus three percent. Fine. Okay, well, we did a little bit of good there, it seems. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary is a scam. What? Oh, Calvin's on the fence. Somebody's making money off people's fear. Not sure what they're talking about there, but let's head down here and see what's going on. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, CSEC officer. Okay, we got a couple shops. I can't help you. 
but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. <laughs> I think this is the guy from the first Mass Effect. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. Look, he's not gonna leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes. Congratulations. The whole 15 credits. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, thanks. He was bugging these people for the past, like, five years. Let's see, Agor Emissions. Welcome to or sorry, munitions. Uh, again, a whole bunch of uh, gun parts. Please obey all local government restrictions Thank when purchasing protective equipment. Cipertine Armory. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. A lot of parts and a nice gun, but uh, I'm going to leave that Thank you for, for now. At Armory. I'm looking for, well, fish specifically, but along with that, Welcome just not gun shop. parts. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, okay. that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate oh. management doing it. My husband is away on duty right now. <laughs> oh. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong, affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. <laughs> How do you know when someone is romantically invested? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. <laughs> That's not how to think of it. It's gotta be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. <laughs> Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. <laughs> Helping Edie and Joker to fall in love. Okay, Casa Fabrications. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Oh, the Vindicator, we can buy it here because I missed picking it up on Mars. I'll do that. Proceeds from all purchases go to help the Indra, and that's interesting. In the Alliance. Inferno armor and a whole bunch of weapon mods. Well, I'm going to hold off on anything like this for a while, because uh, I don't really have that much money. Here we go. Model of the Citadel. Collector armor, interesting. Yeah, I don't need anything else. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI <laughs> walking around the Presidium. Did she run into any trouble? 
No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. <laughs> Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Anything else out here? There's Apollo's Cafe. We can see if there's anything over there. What? Oh, it's these two again. We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. What the... What the hell just happened? We will. And... Thank you. That just... His line just ended the heck halfway through the sentence. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's see if there's anything over here. I don't think there is, but... According to the council, no. Okay, well, we're down down here, it looks like. I think there was still another area we could check out up over here. Oh, we got stuff that way, too. Nope, we can't go in there. There's Blasto 6 poster there. Okay, there's nothing over here. Let's try the other side. Nothing over here either. One would assume that there's a quest that takes place around one of those areas. Otherwise, I don't know why they would have added that in there. All right, we're done in the uh, this area for now. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Let's go to the, the docks. One moment. Now arriving at docking bay E24. Interesting. Civilian housing. Bow. Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Did, did you gonna say anything? It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. Hmm. You can't throw people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Yeah, I mean, it's a single space station. It may be a massive space station. But there's no way there's enough space on this space station for all of the refugees. And at a certain point, you just have to start turning people away, because otherwise, all of the supplies run out, and the people here die of starvation and things like that. Uh, let's see. Plus, the more refugees you allow in, the more chance you have that you're going to get some uh, Reaper indoctrinated in here. I think we're going to meet... The Batarian responsible for uh, trying to crash asteroid X-57 into Terra Nova here. But, Avina. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E-24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, 
Relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. That was a weird camera angle with a the seat there. What else is in the area? This high security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. So how did the council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Well, that's good. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Alright, let's see. Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, Victor. Christophe Vasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in there. I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. I love the hand movements. <laughs> let's see. Let's check down in this area. Got some Batarians here from the uh, hegemony. Tarian state arms. Remember the pillars of strength that hold our people high. Ooh, assault rifle omniblade, interesting, but no. Our government. Kite's nest, pillar of strength. Or pillars of strength. We'll have to bring those back. Anything else back here? Just a lot of sick people. Let's check back over here. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Hey, yes. Garrus. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. Oh, man. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Indeed. Who is... Oh! Shepard VI! You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. <laughs> you have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. <laughs> Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. <laughs> There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? <laughs> My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. Ooh, 7%. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. <laughs> Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Wow. Always nice to see you. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Let's see. Here we go. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, pal. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find How? names there. 
So how's How the would they the have... Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. <laughs> I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Let's see. I feel like I missed something in here, but maybe not. Okay. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to Anything else in here that we need to take a look at? I think we're good for the moment. Oh, here we go. Bow. Here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Okay. Wonder where that is. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select uh, the destination. I'm going to assume it's... See, it could be... I feel like it could be either the embassies or the Presidium Common, because there were all those doors that we couldn't go into. Let's check this out. We can take a look at the map. Oh, Liara's here. Okay, well, now we can chill. We can check in on that. Commons. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. He knew it'd be hard to communicate when he left you here. Okay. There's the arrow. Still working? One call leads to another. And here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Okay. There we go. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. Yeah. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. <laughs> A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. You don't say. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. I don't doubt it. All right. Uh, but we are, did not find what we needed to find here in terms of that mission, so I'm assuming it's back on the uh, in the embassies. Now arriving at is it this again? Oh, here we are. Zamandus? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but <laughs> confinement is irrelevant. 
The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. Wow. You big stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. <laughs> Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane. And we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Woo. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. Uh -oh. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! <laughs> got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. <laughs> Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. Excellent. You can come out now. How'd you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. <laughs> it's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. All right. Uh, oh, we just got more war assets, I think. Kasumi, a Spectre unit, and Hanar and Drell forces. Welcome, Commander Shepard. To Purgatory. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. I was thinking it'd be great if uh, you could bring Javik in to meet the uh, Hanar. Given that they worship the Protheans. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. They filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Should have shot the bastard when we had the chance. I don't know what they're talking about. Anyway, here we go. No, no, no. I'm telling you, I saw the look in his eye before he started off across that street. It was like, come and get me, death. You piece of shit. But you're not getting anyone else. Exactly. You're not getting anyone else. Okay. Hey, you ready to get this party started? Hey, now, you're, uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here. For the next 48 hours, I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thoughts. So, um, the bar's over there, and, uh... Hey, is the whole squad here? Uh, hey, guys! Um, yeah, we were going to, uh, have a...
Okay, I apparently can't turn the sound down. <laughs> I was hoping to make it a little bit easier to hear people talking, but apparently that does not work. There's Arya, but let's see if there's anybody else here first. Ah, James. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What do you mean? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. <laughs> in fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> so he just got a drink out of us as well. Odd that we didn't lose any money from that. Anyway, let's check out up here. Oh, dancing. <laughs> wow. I think that may have been better than the Mass Effect 2 dancing. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Arya. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. Wow. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. <laughs> so sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole a Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. <laughs> How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. Excellent. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, 
I kept the blood path, blue suns, and eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. Yeah. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. All right. We got three people to meet with. And specifically, let's go talk to Bailey first. Actually, let's take a look at the map. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to see here, so let's keep going. Actually, that officer could potentially be the one that could tell us what happened to the ambassador's son. Here we go. Something to bring back their fighting spirit. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the first regiment is waiting for you. Bay D24. Commander. Commander Shepard, I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. I uh, can understand if you couldn't hear that. He says they'll hold the banner proudly when they retake their homeworld. Alright, let's get going. I think these three were the ambassador's uh, son's squad mates, but uh, can't talk to them yet, it seems. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Okay. We have better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Where can we go with this? Okay. Well, we're not doing either one of those. Now All right. arriving at Presidium Embassy. Yep. Here we go. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. Oh, come That's on. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Is that CSEC outpost the one that's over in the uh, promenade or whatever the heck it's called? Let's see. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Yeah, Narl and Jonas Sedaris are both up there. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. I just need to tell him about us. Wait. Us. You and me. He doesn't need to know that. Wouldn't it be better for him to just know that you've grown apart? I thought I was supposed to be honest with him. You are. But you're just being tactful. Not rubbing it in. Okay. Quick. Hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. <laughs> He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try 
trying to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! I am to look even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! <laughs> Uh. Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Alright, blood mm -hmm. pack's on board, although... I feel like we learned before that the blood pack was created by Clan Werelock and that they're entirely Krogan with uh, Vorcha basically as... cannon fodder. So it's odd that they're now ruled by the Vorcha. Anyway, let's head down here. from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. I was hoping we might be able to help them out or something, but I guess not. Let's go talk to the uh, CSEC agent over here. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. <laughs> I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed Oof. a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Look at those eyes. <laughs> yes, saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. All right, uh, we need to find that second in command. They're not here. Let's, uh, okay. It's been a while since we've been to Puerto Memorial, but I doubt that anybody's there. We still need to talk to, so that was the head of the Eclipse. We've already got the blood pack. We also need to talk to the head of Blue Suns, which used to be Vito Santiago. So, I don't know. I'd love to see what happens here. Now arriving at Dr. Yep. Bay Cargo hold A. You should visit. I, I was on my boat when boom. The sky went black. Dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed. I like how they're mirroring each other's hand motions. Do you humans ever stop talking? When I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and 
I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. Darner Vosk. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. Why? Without his blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. Classy. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. <laughs> All right. We just got a report that another ship made it off Calvin. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. <laughs> Good man. Yeah, that's definitely the better option. Now, I think General Araka was the one that we talked to back in Mass Effect 1 who was spreading rumors about... Uh, What's her name? The consort. Let's see, anybody else we can talk to here? No. Let's get out of here. We gotta go find General Araka. I'm not sure where he's gonna be. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok of all people got him to do it. Crazy. <laughs> Excellent. Welcome, Thanks for your help, Shepard. Please select the destination. Let's try the commons. One moment. Yep. Now arriving at Presidium After Commons. All, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with me, right? It's the war. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. You said he'd been distant and that the war made everything clearer. That things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Really? Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? Okay. Here he is. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When 
the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. All right. Okay, uh, Kanik, I think, is who we're going to go talk to now. So many people to talk to. There we are. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec 2? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. Wow. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. You are a damn fool. So, what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Okay. Um, what does that mean we do now, then? Wow, okay. Oh, that's codex stuff, okay. Uh, even so, this is a lot of stuff. Bar oh, wow, okay. <laughs> um, find a whale to deal with Araka. Maybe we can go back and talk to Araka and see... Uh, is, is that enough, or...? Credits don't talk with me, Commander. C-Sec wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple artifacts. Okay, so I guess before we can actually finish Arya's stuff, we gotta come back with some artifacts. It's kind of nuts. Uh, anything else here? No. Okay. Alright, well, I think... I think we may have done everything we can for the moment. Let's check the journal real quick. Uh, Shrike Abyssal. We gotta fly to the Shrike Abyssal for that. Priority Sir Cash. We have to go to Sir Cash. Pillars of Strength. We gotta go get those from the Kite's Nest. Uh, Book of Plenix. We gotta pick that back up from Maroon. Gotta go to Grism Academy. What is this stuff here? A technician on, at Purgatory on the Citadel needs an improved power grid to keep things running. Find schematics for a new power grid and deliver them. Okay, same thing with the heat unit stabilizers. Gotta meet with Dr. Bryson, but I think that was actually a piece of DLC. Uh, Biotic amp interfaces that we can find uh, when we go to Grissom Academy. Bar Levon wants us to go to the Krogan DMZ. We're going to be going there before too long anyway. Uh, Dominic Asoba needs to find what happened to his son. Uh, we don't really have any more information on that. So I guess for the moment we're done. So let's get back to the ship. Alright. Commander. Let's see if we got any emails. Omega, it's time. From Arya Talok, subject, it's time. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project I mentioned when we spoke in Purgatory. Come to Dock 42 on the Citadel, a Batarian named Bray will be waiting. Okay, well, we're not doing that just yet. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else we need to talk to. Plus, we can check on our assets. Yes, Shepard? How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. <laughs> Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. Yeah, I agree with that. Does that body have any useful advantages? 
very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, <laughs> even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> you look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. <laughs> Noted. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there and he's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we yep. might need something calibrated. <laughs> All right. I don't think that the rest of the crew is going to have much to say. We just hadn't really gotten through that main uh, conversation with Edie yet. Let's go to the war room and check out the assets. Primark seems like a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. A war summit we have to host since the Salarians won't even let a Krogan on one of their ships. Okay. Then I guess maybe the meeting's happening in here? Anyway. Okay, alien. Terminus Fleet, 150 added. The Terminus Fleet is an assortment of mercenary vessels and pirate ships bound together by little more than common geography and a fear of the Reapers. Despite this volatile mix, the fleet seems to be functioning as one under the leadership of criminal warlord Arlet Loke. Updated, the Blood Pack mercenaries have been compared to floods, wildfires, and other calamities. It recruits Krogan and Vorsha, preferably those with no regard for collateral damage. On the rare occasion when brute force is insufficient, the Blood Pack is willing to deploy ma weapons of mass destruction normally banned in Citadel space. Update, the Eclipse Corporation specializes in smart security solutions, developing tactics around surgical strikes, sabotage, and electronic warfare. These mercenaries are supported by a sizable army of combat mechs and rely heavily on tech for support in combat. Uh, Spectre units. Spectre is the left hand of the council enforcing laws and stopping crimes with galactic repercussions. While Spectres usually work alone, the Reaper threat gave cause for these extraordinary agents to assemble uh, an elite team capable of operating in enemy territory without backup. Spectre Jontam Bao, while not their official leader, is the group's spokesperson. He has passed on important intelligence gathered by the unit to hack it in the Fifth Fleet. Hanar and Drell forces. The Hanar have sent their warships to engage the Reapers to repay Commander Shepard for saving their homeworld. Though their navy is relatively small, the Hanar have provided their services of the best Drell combat specialists. They are accomplished spies, saboteurs, and assassins, trained as at an extremely young age. While the Hanar are normally loath to send the trusted allies into open warfare, these are desperate times. Updated. A metagel formulated especially for the Hanar has been distributed to Hanar civilians and fleet captains. Very cool. And Alliance? Let's see. Ah, 
the Alliance Fifth Fleet. The Fifth Fleet became famous across the galaxy after spearheading the Alliance forces at the Battle of the Citadel. It was guarding Arcturus Station when the Reapers attacked. After a bloody and desperate battle, Admiral Hackett gave the order to retreat, sacrificing the entirety of the Alliance Second Fleet to give the Third and Fifth Fleet the chance to escape. The Fifth Fleet's engineers are busy repairing its damaged vessels, grimly anticipating the return to Earth and revenge against the Reapers. Updated. The fleet lost a third of its vessels protecting the, the Council during the Battle of the Citadel two years ago. Unfortunately, the Alliance did not have the time to rebuild the fleet to its previous strength before the Reapers invaded. And updated. A pair of entrepreneurs has been persuaded to switch from creating financial programs to advanced weapons targeting VIs and to sell them to the Alliance just above cost. And Kasumi Goto. Kasumi is wanted in over a dozen systems for sabotage, hacking, theft, and a laundry list of other crimes. The Alliance is willing to overlook uh, Goto's indiscretions in exchange for her help with the Crucible. In addition to her expertise with electronic security systems, Goto can acquire important technology, thought lost, or stuck deep in enemy territory. No one dares ask how she acquires these items. Okay, and I just remember that we actually have uh, one other place to go on the ship before we're done, and that is down to engineering, because two of our crew members are back. Here we go. Yeah! It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Okay. Commander. Let's see if he has anything to say about them. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's <laughs> sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. I'm looking forward to getting Tally back on board, so we got the full engineering team at work. I told you Shepard would come visit. Damn right. All right. Okay, and that'll do it for this video. In the next video, let's see what should we do. Good lord, look at all these freaking missions. Uh, why don't we go after some of these uh, little items because they could be items that we can bring back and give to that uh, That's hilarious. like obviously some of these things are things that could really be useful to other groups But my guess is maybe we're gonna have to give some of them to him so that uh, we can get that Turian general to stop bothering the blue suns All right, I think that'll do it and uh, after that we'll go to Grissom Academy, so that's what we'll do in the next video This has been the Resolute Cartographer Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.